Hello, uh, if you want to give your heart knife to God and Jesus, call CB and Ned 1 800 775 Tell them you would like to say the sinner's prayer and they'll say it along with you. Um, they usually do this after sermons, after church. Ask if anybody would like to give their heart and life to God and Jesus, please come up to the altar and they'll pray along with you. I don't know. Some people ask if it's a Jehovah Witness thing. Like, no, I'm not one of those. They don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe that Jesus sits at the right hand of God. They got some kind of weird Bible, not the new King James Version. <laughs> a good Bible to have is probably from CBN. It's not a religious prayer. It's not a religious thing either. You don't... I don't know. Hopefully you attend the right church and not the wrong church. Some churches, you know, they... I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, if you want to give your heart and life to God and Jesus, call CB and Ned, one 800 Christian Broadcasting Network is just an awesome place, uh, awesome resource, cbn.com. Again, it's not like religious or anything, but they do believe in God, that God really did send his son uh, to die on the cross for your sins. So that's what you're believing. Says, Dear Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins. I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name, amen. Pray about and read your Bible. So about seven years ago, I dreamt Jesus' return. I got left behind, but praise God. According to Joel 2, verse 2, 8, he'll pour out his spirit in the last days, and his sons and his daughters shall prophesy about his soon return. So again, it was like a Facebook Facebook share. Somebody shared Jesus on Facebook. I clicked on it. Kind of out of boredom. I was kind of hesitant to click on it because... I wasn't into the whole <laughs> Jesus thing too. I was like, why are they sharing Jesus, especially on Facebook? But I clicked on it anyway, and it, I was like, wow, that is a one amazing testimony. And he's from back home, from our area, Abrahamic Blue George. And uh, his testimony was pretty amazing. I remember it was about two pages long was on a Russian Orthodox website before they took it down. So it was like a small window of hope and then it got shut and I couldn't find it. And then, um, you know, it would take about a month after I read that testimony on Facebook. I got my chain fixed for my cross, said a prayer, went to sleep. It was probably just the Lord's Prayer. You know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is thy kingdom, and thy power, and thy glory forever and ever. Amen. So, again, about seven years ago, just returned, I got left behind. Uh, he looked as bright as the sun. It looked like the sun was descending. I turned, and I thought it was the sun. And I was like, it, but it was a bright pure white light. And these non-believers, they were screaming like they scream now, you know. They couldn't believe he's real. They couldn't believe Jesus was real. So they were just screaming at the, he's real, he's real. Like they couldn't believe he was real. Uh, his believers were screaming, the king has returned. So he is, he's the king of kings. If you read about stuff in the Bible, they were asking for a king. Uh, God was telling them he is the king. They already had a king, but they were, they wanted, I don't know, whatever. And so that's what God gave them, the kings. Hmm. Awesome stories in the Bible. We're invited to the wedding feast. So it says Jesus will come back for his bride. Uh, it's all the people that believe that Jesus is the king. And 
like in the days of Noah, it says, so shall it be in the last days. Um, and if you read about the book of Noah, <laughs> you know, it, and Lot was in there too. He was... <clears throat> It's a nice day again. There's a, that cop wants the fluff is flying around. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to give your heart and life to God and Jesus, call CBN at 1 800 775 Tell them you would like to say the sinner's prayer. They'll say it along with you. <clears throat> uh, some people will try to say if you have tattoos or if you have a past that you can't give your life and God to Jesus. Don't believe that. That's the enemy. Uh, believe that you are a child of God and you can write these uh, promises of God down. Armor up daily. Say, I'm a child of God. You are loved. You are loved by God. So I was watching a testimony last night and it was pretty amazing. Um, the guy said... Um, that Jesus just hugged him. God hugged him. And it felt like the best love, unconditional love. Um, and he does, he loves you. So I could really feel that pull and that, that, I don't know, like he's, like he's, <laughs> he's coming, not, not me, not him, not to anyone else, not to other people, but it's just Jesus, it's Father God calling people to come home. He's saying, oh, come home, come home. Tell them to come home. Come to the wedding feast. Supper's ready. Um, and that's all you have to do is believe. Amen. Alrighty. I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.